Now, uh, as you can see, uh, you know, in the main.kt file, we have actually hard coded the construction of uh, Honda City and uh, EcoSport. So, you know, that's not the right way to do things. We want to give the users the choice on the command line to, you know, one by one select uh, the different uh, types of uh, cars that they want to make. So, let's say uh, instead of uh, doing it like this, uh, we just, uh, you know, uh, call uh, this eco sport thing as uh, my car okay and uh, these things we will take uh, the info from user and uh, to take info from user what i will do is i will actually add a library to my project uh, called cliKT so the cliKT is a, a clicked or i think the way it is pronounced uh, it's a, it's a library to handle command line interface from kotlin like println can do basic printing but like proper prompt and everything those things can be handled using CLIKT so it's a nice little library and uh, we will use CLIKT so how to use CLIKT we have to write uh, this uh, you know implementation com.github.ajalt clicked like this so I will just uh, add that to my gradle dot uh, build dot gradle sorry um, uh, we'll add uh, this here you can write uh, you know uh, only this so it will automatically take the latest version or uh, you know uh, you can write 2.8 which would be the latest version so external libraries i think it would have brought in uh, yeah so uh, now if i uh, take a look at it i think uh, Oh, uh, I think I will have to add the version here. So 2.8.0. I think that's the latest version that's available here, as we can see, uh, 2.8.0. So uh, take 2.8.0. Let's uh, bring this library in, and uh, yeah, here we go. This is the clicked library that uh, we have fetched, and what we need to do here is uh, in main dot kt. I'll just uh, start with uh, something like uh, terminal ui dot uh, you know, um, uh, we can uh, pass uh, things like we can pass uh, an eco. Eco is something you don't need really term UI to do. You can do print ln as well. Uh, but uh, we can do like term UI dot uh, eco. It can take parameters like the message to print, uh, you know, whether to print or print line, whether to print it into error, whether to, you know, write it into console, and what line separator to use, and so on. Uh, for general printing though, I think I, I prefer uh, println itself, which is fine and uh, we can uh, write here, uh, you know, uh, let's say, uh, so here is my uh, line uh, that's uh, going in and uh, yeah so uh, let's write some message here you can uh, build your uh, very own uh, car with everything Uh, engine seats wheels etc like that something here right okay so uh, when I run it uh, how it will look like is uh, it's gonna look like this uh, you know welcome to car picker uh, margin if I do yeah so welcome to car picker here you can uh, build your very own car with everything fully customizable uh, feel free to pick engine seat wheels etc blah 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 everything okay so then what we'll need is uh, we uh, will need to you know uh, you know write say term ui dot confirm uh, continue to build a uh, car uh, and uh, we can write like this uh, if uh, term ui dot confirm continue to build car equal to equal to uh, not equal to true uh, we can have like uh, you know return from here so then we can do something like continue to build car no program will end uh, otherwise continue to build car yes it will actually build the car and print the prices now we'll, uh, we want to actually take these values as input from the user the uh, wheelway size the chassis type the seat factory and all of that stuff 
so we can uh, start doing that uh, so you know we can write uh, term ui dot prompt and uh, we can write like this um, enter a uh, uh, wheelbase size and we can uh, pass like a parameter uh, to the user that you know it should be uh, s or uh, m or uh, large um, so actually the sizes that we have is small medium big let's change this to actually uh, large yeah. so re refactoring that to large so small medium large uh, enter wheelbase size and uh, then uh, we do like it dot and uh, so uh, th there is this option to do uh, input so you can do val input term ui prompt it dot and then we can do throw usage error so it will uh, pick it up again and stuff like that so we can do uh, when it and uh, then we can have like you know uh, s or uh, s something like this so wheelbase dot size dot small like this and uh, we can have like a couple of So for uh, medium, uh, we can pass uh, medium, for uh, large, uh, we can pass L, right? And then if uh, neither of all of these, so in else we can uh, throw usage error. Size has to be S, M or L, like that we throw, okay? So term UI dot prompt, uh, like this if I do. Uh, let's see how that goes. So if I have, uh, continue to build a car, yes enter wheelbase size sm or l so if i enter say j uh, then end error size has to be sm or l i have to print it again so j uh, if i say l okay so okay uh, yeah so it's taking l uh, i don't know why it did not take uh, the l one uh, capital l so it seems to be some problem uh, let's let's try again uh, so yeah so it's taking that so what we'll do here is uh, we'll write uh, val wheelbase size equal to term ui dot prompt uh, like this okay so then we will get uh, the wheelbase size uh, here and here instead of uh, providing a hard coded wheelbase size we can pass wheelbase size like this although it's nullable so uh, uh, to string uh, we can try to do or something like that but uh, yeah so uh, wheelbase size we can do a double exclamation here which will force this value uh, to take uh, a non-null value and uh, we can uh, write a lot of variables like this so this is wheelbase size then we need the chassis type so we can uh, do something similar here uh, so well uh, chassis type and we can do enter uh, chassis uh, type and uh, we can actually write this prompt a little better as well uh, you know uh, so Like this if i write so then uh, you would see uh, continue to build car yes enter wheelbase size small medium or large so you have to press either s m or l so uh, m enter uh, enter chassis type uh, you know uh, anything but uh, you know so building that car like that so let me actually uh, write down all the options one by one we have to write uh, many of these and uh, let's do that in the next video you get an idea uh, i just wanted to show that uh, you know 
you need uh, to get installed uh, CLI KT so that we can do this you know uh, picking up these values from the terminal and then we can pick these values one by one and uh, you know enter these values inside my car dot vehicle okay